What is up everybody? Hope you're all doing well and hope you're all crushing life because today is the day that we've been dragging out for a while. I haven't been dragging out. We've just been doing our research, our due diligence, but today we've made a decision and we're going to buy a car. It's effectively a done deal. I haven't signed any paperwork, but we worked out the financing and all that goodness. So we're going to reveal the new car, the replacement to my shoe storage, AKA the 2001 Dodge Viper. Now, because it is such a momentous occasion, we got to put on some fresh kicks. Now we're either going to wear these babies, which I haven't worn yet. I'm excited to, or we're going to wear one of the shoes in box number one. I just can't remember what's in there. All right, what do we got, baby? Oh, the golf shoes. That's right. I guess we're not going to wear these today. I've been waiting for them. They are golf shoes. I'm hyped about them, but they're not car buying shoes. These are new car shoes without a doubt. All right, we're feeling good. We're feeling fly. Let's get one of the last startups ever on our 2001 Dodge Viper supercar. Actually, we got to clear off the closet first and we got to put on our hat. All right, one of the last times ever on this channel and I need to clarify, we are buying a new car. Also, we are trading in the Viper. So the Viper effectively today is gone. I gotta say, the weather in Utah right now has been hot and cold every other day. Just like Katy Perry, this hat right now, it, it's hot. I, I'm sweating, but we're committed because it's the last time. Oh, we're stretching. Ooh, it burns, it burns. You see what I'm saying? I look ridiculous at the grocery store when I do that, but I have to. We did it. We're good. We're good. Now that is a beautiful piece of art right there, but we got to look under the engine one more time and just appreciate the V10. Finally did one thing. It was to bring an American V10 beast, baby, onto the channel. I'm going to miss this so much. I just can't. I can't do this. My head feels like a sweaty mothball. That's better. Now, before we jump in the Viper and say goodbye to it forever, I do have to stop and take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Policy Genius. You need home and auto insurance? It's that simple. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy insurance that you need. Now, we're on our way right now to pick up a new ride, and this is a great opportunity for me to reassess how much I'm paying for auto insurance, and Policy Genius is gonna allow me to do that super easy, and it's actually a good opportunity for me to reassess my home insurance as well. Bundle it all together because that's what Policy Genius can do. They can bundle your home and auto insurance and find you great rates because insurance is critical. You gotta have it, but it doesn't mean you need to overpay for it. Policy Genius will do the work for you by comparing prices at the top insurers to ensure that you get the right coverage for the best price. Policy Genius does not sell your info to third parties and they have thousands of five star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. Policy Genius is your one stop shop for all your insurance needs. And getting started is super easy. First, Head to policygenius.com slash burlacker, answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property, and Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your needs and help you find the best option. Their team of experts will look for ways to save you more, especially when you bundle your home and auto policies. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. If they find you a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. So be sure to go to policygenius.com slash burlacker or hit the link below to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save. And I wanna say a big thank you to Policy Genius for sponsoring this channel. Hit the link, let's go. Well, wouldn't you know, it suddenly started to rain, which makes sense because it is a sad and gloomy day because the Viper, she's going away. There we go, let's get you tucked in. There we go, good girl. All right, it's new car day, we cannot mess up. We cannot mess up, otherwise we're gonna lose the car and they're gonna sell it to somebody else, but 100%, we don't mess up. Now, officially, for the last time, for real, climbing in. Oh, I love this car, but I can't, ow, take it anymore. We did it though. All right, last time ever, at least for the foreseeable future. Exhaust is nasty. 
I mean, the tough thing with this car was this is a dream car of mine. I've wanted one of these since I was a kid, since I first saw one many years ago on the same street. But um, the ownership experience has been wonderful, but for daily practicality uses, it's time to move on. I would love to get another Viper back in the garage someday, someday. We are so close to the new baby. I'm so excited. Last time ever in the history, just like that. But more importantly for you guys, the last time, oh crap, ow. The last time you guys have to hear me complain about getting out of that. But this is it folks, what a journey it's been. I cannot say how much I actually have loved owning the Viper. I love looking at it in the garage every day, parking in the streets. You get tons of compliments. The wheels, the custom wheels, the forge line wheels with the Continental tires, love those. We did the stripes. It's just been such a great car to own, even though I complain about it all the time, and I am gonna be sad to see her go away. This is a whole new category genre for us. This is a different everything. This is a big deal. Because I've never owned a Porsche Panamera before, and so it's gonna be an interesting experience. Because that's what I bought? All right, I'm just kidding. I did not buy a Porsche Panamera, even though Rob, our man Rob, that's what he wants me to get, maybe one day. I bought something, it has a horse and it's not a Mustang. So of course we're back here at Eurosport Automotive because they were so nice to me the last time, gave us some great test drives. Is it, is it here? It's here, Matt. Is she ready? It's ready. Perfect, do you think I can handle it? I don't know, this might be a little iffy. That's an honest answer, I that appreciate that. I appreciate answer. that. All right, here we go. You guys cannot believe it, you won't believe it. It's time to get a Ferrari. I just had to buy this one because the wheels, obviously with the Viper, the blue wheels, we had to go with the red wheels. And number, reason number two, Obviously, you guys know something super important here. I'm gonna climb right in comfortably. Oh, yeah. I can get in with style. This is our new baby. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Oh, hey, dude. What's up? You know this isn't the car you bought. Well, I want this car, though. You ain't there yet, bro. <laughs> I ain't there yet? Ah, uh, Rob, with his honesty, it's true. Obviously, I didn't get this. You guys knew that. You didn't fall for it. I know. Let's go. But I will say this thing is pretty incredible. Look at this. The red interior. Gosh, I, I do fit well. This is a gold car for sure because it's obviously a Ferrari and I fit and it's sick. And I can take this to the grocery store and look somewhat respectable getting out of it, which is a big deal. Just uh, I need to work on my squats though. But if any of you are interested, you obviously know this is your guy, Mr. Honest Rob, <laughs> telling me where I stand now you got my actual car here right I do okay so I haven't seen it since the actual test drive so I'm a little actually nervous we've done the paperwork we are done paperwork is done signed over the Viper is no longer mine we got the new car it's not the R8 although that is sick too and in in the price point frankly I did not get the repeat you guys knew I wasn't going to do that I told you I wasn't the Viper there, she's looking good. She's looking right at home. You got all the silver and black cars. Obviously, this thing just pops. If you want to buy the Viper, Eurosport, it is theirs. Come check it out. This could be yours. Now, you all notice the Vantage sitting here, and a lot of people wanted me to get the Vantage. And it's still, frankly, high on my list for the price point. It's kind of one of those things where I wonder if I could get that along with the car we did get. But for now, you guys know it. It should be no surprise at this point because we've looked at every other car. We got the 2012 Bentley Continental GT only because I fit. That's the reason I bought a $95,000 car. Yes, for real, I actually did it. I'm a Bentley guy now. I bought a Bentley, which I never actually thought I would ever at any point in my life say, I bought a Bentley. Rob's gonna give us a little bit of a startup and a baby rev just to give you guys some awareness of the W12. It's just a purr, it's just a purr. It's refined, it's luxurious, but it is deep. And I really like deep exhaust. That was my deep voice, that was terrible. We're gonna do a full tour later, but our man Riley is gonna give us the party trick right now. Check it out, party trick. Yo, I got a spoiler that goes up and down. I, I've never had one of those before. I wanted to have a little fun here. I wanted to ask these three of all the cars here what they would buy, Bentley not included because I just bought that. Yep. Our man Kyle actually said I bought his car. You so did, you did. this is now a little it's a little awkward i'm gonna be honest so i'm probably just gonna gonna leave but what would you buy what would uh, you get if i 
couldn't pick the Bentley, I'd probably pick the 458. I know, the sure. 458. Oh, yeah. That's that's a tough one. That is tough. We know Panamera. Would you get anything here besides the Panamera? Uh, besides the Panamera, I would probably do the Vantage. The Vantage. I respect that. Not the 458. I wouldn't do the 458. Not a Range Rover. Vantage. Because Rob's a classy guy. All right, Riley respects you guys and appreciates you guys so much. He's going to give you all one last startup. Let's hear it, baby. Gosh, that's so good. All right, give us a rev just to let us go. Okay. I may have made a bad decision. Rob, I I want to trade back. Did you, the Bentley doesn't sound like that. <sighs> Don't hit the Bentley. He knows what he's doing, right? He's good? Okay. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, Riley's gonna take the Bentley out for us, and yes, for real, that is our new whip. So we're gonna meet him out front. I gotta grab my stuff. Dude, you're, you're the one giving me the keys. Respect. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thanks, All guys. Right. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. it, Rob. Yeah, take care. We'll, we'll be talking Panamera soon. We will. It seriously is a bit surreal and crazy. I own a Bentley. It's not a new Bentley. I'm not, I, can't, I can't do that. But I own a Bentley. Well, I co-own a Bentley. We traded in the Viper, so we had a big uh, down payment there. But the bank owns owns the other half, so we're almost there. Seriously though, look at this baby. I just, I, I actually just got really, really nervous because now I have to drive it home, and, and there's a lot of pressure with a new car on the road, expensive car. I'm nervous. Yep. All right, there we go. This is definitely a new realm for me, and I'm super excited. Again, super nervous, but we got things to do. We got to get home. We got to stick dinner. It's a special day. It's a big day. We're going to Roos Chris for dinner tonight. And if you guys don't know Roos Chris, the steak is incredible. I go there like once a year because it's it's not cheap. And I shouldn't go tonight because I can't afford it because if I, if I bought a $93,000 car. All right, this is interesting. Start, stop. Okay, so you got the keyless start, stop, but you also have a key that goes in here, which is double cool. I'm gonna be honest. I know a little bit about Bentley Continentals. I've seen some videos, done some research, but I've never actually like, been in one obviously never owned one so i have a lot to learn a lot to get used to here there's some gadgets and different ways to do things i'm going to give you all a full tour of everything in the next video but for right now i just need to appreciate i need to take a moment and calm down and appreciate this fact all right here we go first drive reverse gosh i'm so nervous it does have a backup camera 2012 kicking it Seriously, I'm, I'm so nervous right now. I just feel like a lot of anxiety, a lot of excitement, but a, a lot of stress too. This is a big responsibility. Vlog update, uh, two minutes into ownership, just getting some gas, getting a drink because uh, I've dehydrated and I'm already having problem number one. I should have thought about this. I don't know how to open the gas cap. I think there's a button in here somewhere but the gas cap won't open, so we're beginning the search. Actually, I think I just remember seeing one of the videos, you're supposed to like put the key in, have the ignition in or something, and then uh, a button magically appears. I'm an idiot. This is not new news to you guys. We figured it out. It's right there, it's right, it's right on the door. Yeah, that's, that's it, simple. Your boy was overcomplicating it, uh, for sure. Look at that. I was here for about five minutes too. Everyone's looking at me. It was getting weird. This gas cap though. This is this is nice. It's hearty. Bentley ownership expenses begin. All right, let's do this again. This is too fun. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just what an experience. Begins for real. We're on a real road. Oh, she's got... Okay, she's got some power. I didn't even touch the gas really. We're flying already. That's exciting because I'm gonna be honest, like on my test drive, I was so focused on filming and everything else. I didn't really like pay that much attention to the car and the experience. I just knew I liked it a lot. So this is kind of like a first time experience reaction right here, live in living color. And we're getting onto the freeway, baby. Just a gentle, gentle pull. She's got a lot of torque. She's got a lot of horsepower. Oh, and the brakes, the brakes are good. And yes, it's still gloomy outside because the Viper is sold. It's a sad, sad day, but uh, this will make me feel better. All right, we're gonna give it a gentle pull just to see, just to get a feel. Yeah, I like that. It's not crazy, it's not jerky, but it's a smooth power boost. And wouldn't you know, the skies are opening up. It's becoming a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh man, this looks nasty. I'd be a little stressed, I'd be a little worried, but I'm in the Bentley. I'm so comfortable, I'm like a worker bee taking a break in the hive. Just chilling, making honey. Sweet honey, sweet, sweet 
honey, the Bentley honey. I gotta be honest, I'm almost home. It was a 30 minute drive in traffic. I'm exhausted. Buying a $94,000 car, it's exhausting, stressful. Even something that like, like the Bentley is, it's a used $94,000 car. Not new, no warranty, used. And the gravity of the situation is starting to hit me. I have no buyer's remorse, none of that. I'm still stoked. I just, this is a big deal, but it's so nice. The drive home, oh my gosh, it was nice. The old girls can be right at home with the Raptor, the Subi, and the Bronco, baby. Well, here she is. We own a Bentley. Already filthy from the drive home and that little rainstorm we had, but all in all, the black, the sleek, so smooth. Such a fan of this look. We are gonna do some things, but we're, we're gonna save that for like later. Yes, that is correct. We're probably gonna wrap it, probably soon, and we're gonna make it match the purple plaid Raptor. Can you imagine? Oh, it's gonna look so good. I don't know what else to say, except that I'm just, I'm exhausted emotionally, physically, physically from the workout, but emotionally from buying a $94,000 car. But I'm so excited to have this in the collection, excited for what we're gonna do to it. I'm gonna give a full tour of everything about this car next video, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate all of you for the support that you give in this channel, even when I do things like Purple Plaid Raptor. But on that note, I gotta say thank you very much. I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you go crush it. Peace.